Welcome back to another vlog. If this is your first time here, I am Irina George. Thank you for checking out my channel, Work the Part. It is called Work the Part because I work and I travel. And I really work to travel. So that's why it is called Work the Part. Right now, I am out in the kind of like the woods, the mountains, oh, the country side here. Um, I've been up and out. It's 10 o'clock right now. I've been up and out since 8. I had to come over to New Jersey for a closing appointment this morning. I have my GPS on. So I am out um, driving back. I finished the appointment already. So I'm driving back home. I didn't pick you guys up this morning. I wanted to pick you guys up. Sorry about the GPS, but I told y'all I'm in the mountains. Let me turn the camera around so y'all can see. So not so much so the mountains, but I am in the countryside. You see there's a highway up there. It is raining. The weather is like not good today, but it's not snowing. So I'm cool with that. But um, it is raining and it's like 50 degrees right now, but it's supposed to be going down frigid, 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 frigid to like eight degrees tomorrow the high is going to be 16 and the low is going to be eight so it's going to get very very cold tonight you can see it's pieces of trees in the road so i have to watch for that but you also get to see nice stuff like this when you drive in the countryside so that's a little lake over there actually it's a big lake um right there and the client whose house I was in, they lived like on a hill. And so down from their hill, right in the back. So as I was saying, in the back of their house, they live on a hill, but in the back of their house, um, not close enough for them to need flood insurance, but in the back of their house going down, there was a beautiful lake, beautiful. Um, really, really beautiful house. Had a really nice morning with them um, completing their documents and their paperwork. It was really nice. So that's where I'm leaving from now. I have another appointment in my city though. In my city, not far from me. I have another appointment today at 1230 for someone who I have been corresponding with for like the last maybe month or two. He needs some um, personal documents done, power of attorney, help directive, will, stuff like that. So I'll be doing those documents um, later on today. He had an issue finding, God, I think sure I'm not driving, he had an issue finding um, witnesses. And so since it's the holiday season and he's gonna have some family in town, he has some family now that are able to be his witnesses. So we're gonna be doing those documents today at 12 30. um and i also need to pay some bills so i need to go food shopping because again it's gonna get ass crack cold well ass crack is really not cold ass crack is warm and a little bit moist depending on who. anyway anyway um but it's going to get very cold and sunday is christmas i have no plans for christmas i don't really celebrate christmas but i have no plans um I told you guys I don't have a tree up. No plans on cooking. None, none of that. None of that. So, oh, this is very pretty. See, this is my problem. When I come out to places like this, I'd be wanting to get shots for y'all so you guys can see how pretty it looks. But it's rainy, so that sucks. But you can see some just some but anyway I have no plans don't even know if there's going to be food on a plate so as I was saying some of these companies have like net 30 um, some are net 45 whatever when they pay you um some companies as soon as the closing happens they receive the documents and everything is good they go ahead and do your deposit or they send you your check whatever 
So in October, this particular company reached out to me for a closing. Closing was, I believe it was the same date or the next day. I think it was the same day. So she reached out to my company. Hey, I have this closing, whatever, whatever. And it's funny because I actually, I did a um, video. I was on my way to that closing in a video. This was in October. So the closing was in October. She reached out to my company. So fast, fast forward. So closing was completed in October. Invoice was sent. We had been communicating via text and I started communicating with her via email as well, just because you can't really, um, some people you can't really trust, but I communicate with people via text because I can use it as proof. So closing was done in October. Now, net 30, I'm cool with. Go ahead. I'll, I'm used to when you do closings in October, you get paid for them in November. Cool. So I noticed in November when I was doing my accounting that I had not received payment for that closing. I reach out to her. I'm like, hey, da 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 da, via email and text. I'm like, and I haven't received payment. Please remit payment. She's like, oh, um, I apologize. I need you to fill out this whatever form and your W-9 so that we can have it. This is in November. So I'm like, cool. Fill it out in November. It's like November 11th, I think, or the 18th. I was just looking at emails. So send it out to her. When I send an email out, I always ask for people to let me know that they received it. Or if you received it, respond and say you received the shit. So sent it out to her. She's like, as soon as I receive it, I'll go ahead and send out payment. This was in November. So here we are in December. I'm doing my accounting again. I'm like, yo, I have not received payment for this. But prior to that, because we were texting, I had said, listen, let me know when you remit payment. Like, stop playing around. So anyway, I'm not going to go into the whole story. I still have not received payment. I spoke to her on Monday. And this is how I know she's full of shit. This past Monday, I reached out to her. But on December 18th, I had sent a follow-up invoice as well as a follow-up in email in reference to the payment, requesting that she remit payment. So Monday, I reached out to her via text. I said, hey, this is the situation. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the situation. I haven't been paid yet. This closing was done two months ago. And when I spoke to you on this date, please refer to text on this date. When I sent you email on this date, please refer to email on this date. You stated that you were going to go ahead and remit payment. You have not remitted payment yet. I um, requested that when payment is sent out, for you to go ahead and send me a message. You have not done that. Why is it now that it's been two months and I have not received payment for this closing when you and I have been in communication? Every time I speak to you, you say that you are going to go into your office and take care of it and I never hear from you again. So I sent that on Monday. Hold on. So back to what I was saying about payment. So I, I text her Monday. And I said to her now, it's been two months. It's been two months. Every single time I reach out to you, you tell me that you're going to go into your office and you are going to remit payment and you have not. Like this is Monday. So today, this morning, and I don't know why it hit me, but you know, I know why it hit me because I had reached out to other companies when I see the invoices are beyond 30 days, 45 days, and they've just been sending sending checks like that either when when for some of them when they're late they'll go ahead and do an electronic check that i can print out and just take to my bank or i can have it deposited into my bank literally 10 minutes after i sent an email out check was submitted email the company tuesday i think it was or monday she's like oh it was, you know i'll fault whatever whatever send us your new W-9, which these companies be full of shit. So we don't have your W-9. Well, you didn't ask for it. You didn't ask for it. So she was like, I'll send it out Friday. This morning I woke up, electronic check. And this is how I know that she's trying to be a signing company, but she doesn't have, it's, it's a, it's, she's small because there's no way that it should take you this long to send out payment. 
Another month goes by. Why didn't your company remit payment on December 15th since you only remit payment on the 15th of every month? I said, now you're sitting here trying to tell me that you're going to send out the payment in January for a closing that happened in October. Are you kidding? I understand that things happen, but you're not communicating with me and you're the company that owes me money. I said, the only thing that I'm asking you for is open communication. If you ain't got the money, just say you ain't got it this month. But now it's been two months. So now I'm annoyed and you're fucking pissing me off because you're trying to text me and say, oh, what if this happened? And what if that happened? What the fuck if it did? If I'm corresponding with you in reference to a payment and you know that you owe the money and you know that you have not remitted payment for it because every single time that I speak to you and text you, you say, oh, I'm going to remit payment. So you know that your company didn't remit payment. You are well aware of that. Why is it that every time I speak to you, you're giving me the same fucking story? And you would think that this is a lot of money. It's not a lot of money at all. It's not a lot of money, but it's my money. On, and on top of that, it's the principal. Don't try to run a business if you don't have your accounting piece together. Because I will absolutely turn into a collection agency. I used to do collections. I'll call you every day. I'll call you every day in reference to this payment that your company has submitted. Every day. Back in PA. Uh, whew, shit. I actually was able to sleep last night. I don't know if I told you guys this, but so the winter solstice was two days ago. I... Um, the whole night of the winter solstice, I could not sleep. I was up the entire day. I was up until almost five o'clock in the morning, Thursday morning. So from Wednesday, when I woke up to almost five o'clock Thursday morning, I was awake. Um, and then I finally fell asleep and I don't even remember how that happened. I could not sleep. I didn't, I don't know why I could not sleep. I'm chalking it up to the winter solstice. Um, I do feel like I'm connected in that way and it just, I couldn't rest. So last night I tried to go to bed at 10. It didn't happen. It was after, it was after 11 and when I finally went to bed, almost like 12 or something like that, but I did sleep. I slept through the night, although I'm yawning right now. I'm yawning because I'm hungry. My ponytail back here is all messed up. My ponytail this morning was nice and neat. What the hell? Okay, so it's been a little minute, but I'm back. So I just left my second appointment. Such a nice baby. So sweet. Um while we were doing that or while we were sitting there doing his documents i was smelling something that was smelling really really good so i was like oh my god something smells delicious so i turned around and it's his sister-in-law she was baking cookies now i told y'all that i'm hungry i'm still hungry because i haven't eaten she was baking cookies and i was like oh okay so as we're continuing going on i'm like see now you want to make me go home and bake cookies she's like oh no don't worry about it i'll make you a whole care package I've been baking cookies for a few days now. Been since just, it's just a few days now? All morning. I don't know, but as I'm there with her brother-in-law, putting his documents together and going over everything, tell me why, tell me why she made me a care package. A care package. This thing is full of fresh cookies that she made from scratch. Let me show y'all. Look at this. She just packaged this up for me. She has sugar cookies. Look at the different types of cookies. Raisin, um, oatmeal raisin, gingerbread, chocolate chip. She's been baking cookies since this morning. She's been baking cookies since this morning. And hooked your girl up with a care package of cookies. Now, I already had Oh, I didn't show you guys. She got the oatmeal raisin. Now, I already had a chocolate chip. I also tasted the sugar cookie. This is doing nothing for my waistline. 
But how sweet, how sweet of her to do this. Mm. Oh, the sun came out. You know how they say the calm before the storm is set up. But it's going to be freezing. How sweet of her. To make me all those cookies. Mm. I'm going to say, y'all, I, I, I even forgot the damn camera was on just now. Because this cookie... Speaking of the cookie, look at this nail. Look, look. These are the same nails, y'all. Tomorrow will be two full weeks. I just need to run this side real quick. <clears throat> was in the house and the reason why I did not see it is because it was covered by a scarf. Back on schedule. So FedEx drop bank home. Tomorrow we're gonna do the gingerbread contest. Now I don't know how much of that I'm gonna record it if I'm gonna record any of it. Because I already told y'all, y'all know I don't put my family on camera, I don't put my kids and stuff like that on camera. So, I don't know, I might just record like the table, what we're doing, some kind of like um, what we used to call in the industry, and I think they still call it that in the industry, B-roll. I might do that, I might record some of that. So, I wanted Chinese, but I didn't want to buy it. Here we are for dinner. This is um, vegetable lo mein. I put some plant-based chicken in it, some sticky rice, some spicy uzu sauce, vegetable dumplings, steamed broccoli, and then this is for the actual dumplings. So this is um, pot sticker sauce, and I cut up some pickled ginger and put it in there as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watching Baddie Twins in the background. Hey, y'all. I'm back. I kid you not, yo. It is like freaking five degrees outside. <gasps> Why? Oh, God. It is so cold. I had to go out to get my son from work. Miserable. Miserable. So I'm finally in for the night. Um... I might throw a movie on. I got a huh? Uh, I, I got a question. Yes? Do you want me to leave the food there? Um, well, he's greedy. He's talking about, do you want me to leave food there? That's why everybody ate before he came home, because he greedy. Gotta make sure he ain't listening to me, you know. Anyway, it's still early. It's only after 8. I might put on a movie because I'm not feeling really tired right now. Um, Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's actually almost 9. It's almost 9 o'clock, but I'm not really tired, tired. And as I, I'm telling you guys, it's freezing, but I ain't got not their stitch of clothes on. So... I just wanted to come out and finish the vlog for the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Um, yeah, vlog is going to be dropped tomorrow, but I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Yo, Christmas is tomorrow. Like literally i mean i'm not doing shit but christmas is tomorrow which also means technically vlogmas is over on christmas but i feel like i might do 
I might. I might go to the end of the year. Maybe, maybe not because I missed a few days. Put it in my eye. Oh. I missed a few days, so I might go to the end of the year just because I kind of like these everyday vlogs. Um, I don't know if you guys like them, if it's exciting for you. I don't know, but I'm kind of liking these short everyday vlogs. So I might go to the end of the year. I did tell you guys that I'm going to do an end of year recap. So I'll definitely be doing that. But other than that, Vlogmas is technically about to be over tomorrow. <sighs> Anyway, you guys, enjoy your holiday with your families. Be safe. Be warm. If you're warm, I'm jealous. Be well. I'll catch you guys in another vlog. Peace. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to jump in here. Look what finally happened. Finally. And now popped off after two whole weeks. So now I'm going to take them off. But I just wanted to show y'all. And now finally popped off. Oh my gosh. When a body's me.